Warren Jackson. Hmm. Okay, I put a uh, worksheet meeting notes on Google Classroom. So we're going to go over those first. And then we'll talk more about the Crumble Zone, Crumble Zones lab. If you go to Google Classroom and open up the meeting notes for today. Hey, Brooke, how you doing? You good, Brooke? Uh oh, Brooke left. Can everybody get the meeting notes page? Okay. So we're going to start going over that. I'll share part of my screen. Hey, Brooke, again. The moment we like, I don't know, it like didn't work the audio. Really? I need like Mr. Sharp stuff. And I was like, um, okay, um, go to Google Classroom. There's a meeting notes page that we're going to start going over. Hold on. All right, so um, work. Work equals force times distance. Let's see, I gotta open up. That's not the one. Really. Okay, well, those have the answers on them. All right. So you should uh, fill in your blanks on that first sentence if you look at your screen. Hey, Jacob, I put a worksheet on Google Classroom that we're gonna go over. Okay. So fill in that first sentence with your blanks. Work is measured in joules, capital J. Um, sorry, force is measured in newtons, capital N. Distance measured in meters, little n. All right, um, Haley, you look like most wide awake. So how about that one? You push with a force of five Newtons and the object moves two meters. How much work was done? What's the equation? I forgot, I don't have my notebook. It's right up here, you nut. Oh, okay, uh, 10. 10 what? Um, joules. Hey, Petunia, push with a force of 10 and the object moves three. Thirty joules. Thirty joules. Edward, push with a force of five and the object doesn't move. Uh, zero joules. Zero. And Jaco, you push with a force of 10 and the object doesn't move. Zero. Zero. The object has to move. Right? In that first sentence there, for work to be done, the object has to move in the direction of the force. So those of you that took the quiz already and didn't do very well, right, there's a couple questions on it like that. Right? If you push, with, push on something and it doesn't move, there's zero joules and make sure you remember the unit. Okay. All right, um, fill in the blanks in your next sentence. When you lift an object, you do work. 
we must use a force equal to the object's weight. To calculate the work done, you would multiply the weight by the distance the object is lifted. Thumbs up when you're ready to go on. Anybody seen Isaac? Mm. He was in English yesterday. He was? Yeah. Well, Mackenzie, thanks for joining us. Are you going back to two? I want to check with you. Okay, Mackenzie, we're going over our worksheets on Google Classroom. Okay, Brooke, Jayco, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Mackenzie, we'll wait for you to open up that worksheet. Okay? Just because we're nice like that. Okay, thanks. I emailed you because it said the meeting was set to like the 20th and I was confused. Okay. And now yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> so we already went through this first part Mackenzie see if you can fill that in as we're going through the next answers so you have some blanks in the first sentence and this sentence to fill in okay all right um Jones you lift a 10 Newton object 10 meters off the ground. How much work was done? A hundred. A hundred, what? Jules. Jules. Hey, Jackson, you lift a 20 Newton object five meters off the ground. How much work was done? A hundred Jules. Brooke, you lift a five Newton object 10 meters off the ground. 50 joules. Mackenzie, I'll let you solve this one for us. You lift a 50 Newton object two meters off the ground. Our work is force times distance, weight times distance. I don't even know where we're at. <laughs> Well, you're probably at home as we all are. Maybe. No, <laughs> Mr. Richards. Okay, I'm there's this worksheet's on Google Classroom. It says it's under meeting notes. I already have, I'm open on Google Classroom. I'm writing, catching up everything I missed because Zoom was being a pain in the butt. Okay, well, at least you have something in common with Zoom. Shush, that was me, Mr. Richards. <laughs> okay, can you find that question? You uh, lift an object 50 newtons. This is the fourth question in the second set. Oh, um, I don't know. Um, 50 newtons. Why not? Just going to guess. because. I'm okay, gonna... well, right here, to calculate the work done, you would multiply the weight of the object by the distance the object's lifted. So the weight of the object is 50 newtons and you're lifting it two meters off the ground. So two? No. To calculate the work done, you multiply the weight by the um, distance the object's lifted. Do you have a calculator handy? Yeah, I will be. One hundred. One hundred what? Um, Newton. Work is measured in. Work. I mean, whatever it's called. What is it called? I don't remember. Are you looking at my? Oh, it's the jewel. That's jewels. Golly. Jewels. So, what's the answer? One hundred. Jewels. Jewels. All right, uh, Shana. You lift a two newton object four meters off the ground. How much work was done? Eight jewels. Eight joules. All right. Fill in your blanks in this next part, please. Mackenzie, have you caught up yet? No. Where are you, Mackenzie? 
I'm at the, you left 200 Newton objects and then you have Okay. Okay, you have blanks in the next sentences that you need to read ahead and read on my screen to try to fill out. Thumbs up when you have the blanks filled out. Two out of 10. Three out of 10. Both paragraphs? Yes, please. Okay. Four out of 10. Five, or is that four? I don't know, I lost track. I need to make tally marks. Okay, Petunia and Jones, I got you. I don't want your thumbs to get tired. Does it help if I do this, Brooke? No. Oh. Okay. Well, I got them all anyway, so. Haha. Right. Uh Mackenzie, -huh. you're caught up? Yeah. All right. Jaco? No. Eduardo? Yep. I bet you're playing Fortnite or something on the side. I definitely am. I think the other day Zane was, uh, we were Zooming with Zane and I think he was playing Fort down on the side. Jayco? Not yet. Come on, kid. I just took a screenshot of it, you can go. No, fill it out. I'll try to be more patient, sorry. It's not My Zoom was telling me I couldn't get into the classroom because you had a Zoom already planned for the 20th of this month, last month. And I was like, that doesn't make sense. He told me at 11.30. And I'm like, okay, maybe try rebooting my whole computer. Did that, and then it wouldn't load. And huh. then it was telling me Zoom crashed. And I'm like, I can't get to my class. Well, we're all glad to see you. You're lying, Mr. Richards. Who's watching TV? Someone's watching TV. Yeah. It was Jacob, for I'm sure. Oh, is that why, Jacob? <laughs> okay. The only thing I watch are TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> or it was Cameron. And Cameron's or it's right. Mr. Richard. Yeah, where is Cameron? <laughs> Who knows? He's probably you. sleeping. Probably. Or I had the same malfunction we had. I had, because it wasn't letting me in, and it was making me mad. I think that was user error, Mackenzie. No, it wasn't. Okay, I'm ready. Yay. All right, um, I'm going to read, so maybe, you know, listen this time. So, 
what you just filled out, you can think of this work being done because you gave the object more energy by lifting it. If you were to drop it, it would have some kind of energy it would transfer to the floor. The higher you lift it, the more energy you give it. So if you drop a, you know, a brick on your foot, but it was only a foot off the ground, compared to if you drop a brick on your foot and it's like five feet off the ground, it's gonna hurt more when it, ha and it has a longer distance to fall. If you simple, simply carry an object that is already off the ground, you have not done any work on the object. If an object was two meters off the ground and you carried it to another room and it was still two meters off the ground, it would have the same amount of energy that it could, that it could transfer to the floor. The force used to carry it was not in the direction of its motion. Questions on that? No. All right. Let's look at the examples. Uh, Haley, I think it's your turn. You carry a 10 Newton object for five meters. How much work did you do on the object? 50 joules. Okay, let's try this again. If you simply carry an object that's already off the ground, you have not done any work on the object. Zero. Zero. If you carry a 10 Newton object for five meters, you do no work on it. You haven't given it any energy. It's not gonna hurt your foot anymore in the original room that it was in. Hey, Petunia. You carry a 15 Newton object for three meters. How much work did you do? Sorry, my computer's being stupid. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Edward, you carry a 20 Newton object for 10 meters. How much work did you do? Zero. Zero. Why'd you put it out? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, my son's being bratty. What? All right. They're bratty like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, power. Oh, goodness. What Fill in know? those blanks, please. Power is work divided by time. Ah. Oh. Tell us how you really do, bro. I did the wrong ones. This is going to take me a minute. Well, we only have a minute. Hurry up. My bad. Mr. Richards, I have a question. Please. Um, are we going to now have our class on Thursdays now? Yeah, the same. Yeah, we'll do it from now on. That way we can spend a little extra time if we need to. Um, I have math at 12. Yeah, I no, you don't. Uh, yeah, I do. No, you don't. That sucks. But you can make me late. Hold on. I have math Monday through Friday at 12. With who? Mrs. Joseph. Well, tell her to change. Tell her to skip it on Thursdays? Gladly. No, tell her to change it. Why would you go to math five times a week? You're telling me. <laughs> I didn't even go today, so. Hey, I'll send her an email because, I mean, once in a while, we might have to stay late or, you know, if you're having trouble with a particular assignment. Mine. You probably won't mind. That's why I was confused of why you're doing it on Thursdays because Thursdays are my busiest days because I have classes back to back to back. Oh, that's good for you. All right. Did you get those blanks filled out? Yes. Brooke, you're good? Yes. All right. Oh, who did we leave off with? Jaco? Okay, Jacob, you do 10 joules of work in five seconds. What is the power you used?
I don't know. Jacob, got an answer? No, I don't. I don't know. Okay, let's look at the sentence. Power is work divided by time. Powers in watts, joules. Work is measured in joules. So two watts. Two watts. Do you want these glasses? No, you can have them. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay, Jones. You do 20 joules of work in five seconds. What's the power? Four watts. Four watts. Jackson, you do 30 joules of work in six seconds. What's the power? Five watts. Five watts. It's always work divided by time. Hey, sometimes you have to calculate the amount of work first. Sometimes it's a two-step problem. So, Brooke, this is all you. Hey, Brandon. Um. If you push with a force of five newtons and the object moves five meters in five seconds, how much power? Five watts. Right, because five newtons times five meters is 25. Wow. By five is five watts. <laughs> Bless you. Hey. Okay, Mackenzie, it's all you. If you push with a force of 10 newtons and the object moves two meters in five seconds, how much power did you use? So you first have to calculate your work. So you'd multiply those two. Divide by time. Four watts. Four watts. Okay, Shana. If you push with a force of five newtons and the object moves two meters in two seconds. Five watts. How much? Five watts. Five watts. And Haley, you push with an object with a weight of five, I'm sorry, you lift an object with a weight of five newtons to a height of three meters in three seconds. Okay, calculate the work, divide by the time. Five watts. Five watts. Oops. Okay, anybody have any questions on that worksheet? Nope. No. Okay, um, some of you did really well on the work and power quiz. Some of you didn't take the work and power quiz. Some of you didn't pass the work and power quiz. Oh, yeah. um, I'm giving everybody a chance to take it again. When you take it again, you can use these notes pages, but I expect you to do better. I, if you don't pass, then I'm going to reset it for you and make you take it over and over and over and over and over and over. Um, all right. Let's talk a bit. Do you have any questions before we go on? No. Nope. All right. Oh, yes. Question. Yes. What? When is it mandatory due? Yesterday. So, like, just do it. Yeah. Do it. Like, today would be nice. Got it. Mr. Richards? Yes? I tried doing it today, and it said that the quiz was unavailable. Oh, you're lying. I'll try it. All right. Um, open up the Crumble Zones lab. Where is that? Yeah, the quiz is unavailable for me to take as well. 
Oh, you guys are both lying. Yep, unavailable. Lie. Liars. Mr. Richards. Liars. You lie, Mr. Richards. Okay, I do not. Okay, so open up the Gizmo Lab. Um, let me um, look at Quia here real quick. How do I do that? Uh, no. Okay, we could see everybody's grades. No, you're not gonna see anybody's grades. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it did expire. Yeah, it expired on the 15th. Sorry, y'all get zeros. Mr. Richards. Unfortunate. Mr. Richards. Oh, sorry. What? Mr. Richards. Petunia has a question. Okay, what, Petunia? You want us to turn that in. I want you to do what? You want us to turn that in. That worksheet? Yes. The, yeah, you can turn it in. Okay. Also, do we have feedback on what we missed at the end? Yes. You, get your, you get your score. I want I feedback on what I missed, though. Well, no. What? I just gave you a whole page of meeting notes that should like, and I and I I wrote those meeting notes while I was looking at all your quiz questions and like the ones that people got wrong the most. Well, we don't know what we got wrong, nor what Can we you just do well, it? So now you shouldn't get any wrong. You should look at your meeting notes while you're taking the quiz. Question. Yeah. Just Can you do it just, like, to see which ones we got wrong and it didn't show the answer? No. Just be careful with your units. I mean, work is measured in joules. You know, power is measured in watts. Got it. Okay, I'm giving you to the 17th, around a minute before midnight, to get that taken care of. Process. All right, chromosomes. Hey, right, hopefully you got at least started on it. This is not an easy lab and yeah, there's a lot to it. All right, so the gizmo warm up. Let me see mine here. Where is it? Oh my goodness, I hate this little screen. Sorry. No, not that. No. I toast it. Are you struggling? Yes. <laughs> it's you guys. I jumped right. around on it because. Uh, I couldn't get my dummy to live, so. You couldn't ever get your dummy to survive? I couldn't get it past 97%, and it always ended up with broken legs. Dang. I got all the way to, like, page 10, and I couldn't do the calculated stuff. That was the only thing I didn't do. Yeah, I got to, like, page 10, too. I got to page 4. Five. Depending on how you look at it. All right. So when you uh, start this thing to begin, do not make any changes to the design tab. The gizmo. Select crash test, and then you can look at it in slow motion. Also, so I don't know. I've made a lot of changes, so I better. 
just restart the gizmo here. But there are so many variables. So if we just. Bye bye. And then you can look at it in slow motion. And what happens? You can look at results. He's dead. Yeah, likelihood of survival, 0%. Dummy hit the steering wheel, death by trauma to head and torso. You are a monster. <laughs> so we can see that the hood shrinks on um, upon impact and the dummy moves forward. But you can answer that as, like, as far as like the dummy does not survive. All right. And would it survive? Well, no, there's, it says it's a zero chance of survival. So yeah, not survival. Okay, modern vehicles contain features, like crumble zones, safety cells. There's a lot of factors that you can control. Um, and it's almost mind boggling about people that, you know, do these kind of labs or the uh, these kind of tests now you'll notice that there's data charts i mean you can i i was just playing around with like changing one variable at a time and seeing what i could get but like 145 the rigidity and 2050 i mean i can get his max force of 15 so the survival rate's pretty high but. But there's lots more of this about seatbelt stiffness and rigidity. Have, has anybody done this part? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My, my problem was this, is that, so the seatbelt only on 30, I could get a max force of 14.9. And airbag. Where are you? I got 11 for airbag too. Yeah, but then when you put them together, could you get something less? Yeah, I got 12. Well, I got 12.4. I didn't get less than 11. The lowest, yeah, I got for the airbag only, I got 11 flat and then seat belt and airbag, I got 11.4. So you couldn't, I could, you could never figure out how to get it under 11, could you? No. no. You would think, that doesn't make sense to me though. If now I have a seat belt and an airbag and I can't be more protected? Yeah, that's what I was figuring out too. Yeah. <laughs> The so, dummy's yeah. stupid. Okay, and then um, I couldn't get any better than this. Uh, Those 50, are so hard. I got 99. I like couldn't did not. get 100. For an SUV at, at going, got, you got 99% survival rate? Yeah, I but 99. I still broke their legs, but I got 99. Oh. For the for the one underneath it, I got eighty eight percent. Did you really? Yeah. There are so many variables; it was mind boggling. There so I spent forty five minutes on the first one. Yeah. So I'm it's just uh, you know if you're done with it, great. If you're still working on it, that's fine. Don't don't worry about the assessment on this until you know after we meet again and talk about okay. it. Okay. Question. Yes, Brooke. So the one that I got stuck on is like the five of explore and it's on page three. And I can't get my dummy past 97%. And it wants 100. Mm -hmm. Right there. Okay, try those 120, 200, 2050. And I didn't use an airbag. I didn't either. That's what I got, and I got a hundred percent survival rate. Yeah. But yeah, when I when I use that same design, and then I just sped the car up to fifty miles an hour. Yeah, it was a fail. It was like <laughs> one twenty two hundred. Okay, so spend some time working on that. Um, 
<sighs> if you see Isaac, tell him to like, you know, come to class. Ah. I've tried wow, to I survived. And every I don't I don't ever get a response. So it's like All right. So you guys have any questions or anything, reach out. All right. Mr. Oh. Richards? Yeah. On those challenge ones, do we have to get it 100% or just as close as we can? Um, is that farther down here? Those are, yeah, those are the ones. Oh. Because like, yeah, it says just, no injuries, but. Just as good as you can because, I mean, I, I could, I, you know, I spent probably, I don't know, I woke up this morning and worked on it too, and I worked on it last night, and it's like, oh my gosh, because I don't, I don't have a, there's not an answer key to this you have to pay money to get an answer key so it's like yeah i couldn't i couldn't get him to survive so okay okay another question survive, but yeah survive with a limp but all right question yes so the last part of activity a is like the data charts how do we like fill those out just like use them if, i mean like here's the data charts that i i just kept track of like one variable at a time when I changed it. Okay. I just mean, just use it however you want to. Okay. But there are so many variables. It's like, yeah, it'd be kind of fun being a scientist on a crash dummy site or plant. But. All right. Is the secret word for Quia still power? <sighs> yes. And I may, I may not have cleared out any like, you know, late scores. I think there were four scores that I kept in there. So I'll make sure to, you know, remove them, but open up the meeting notes and, and please do a better job at it. It almost made me cry. All right. All right. If that's it, you guys, I wish you a, a wonderful day. Adios. 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 Bye. Bye.